traditional fashions of Middle Eastern countries, such as Palestinian ruff, Saudi Arabia's thobe and UAE zabaya. Traditional fashion in the Middle East is rich and diverse, reflecting the cultural and historical influences of the region. From the flowing thobes of Saudi Arabia to the ornate embroidery of Palestinian thobes, traditional fashion in the Middle East is a testament to the region's rich cultural heritage. One of the most iconic traditional garments in the Middle East is the thobe, a flowing robe-like garment worn by men in Saudi Arabia and other Gulf countries. The thobe is typically made of lightweight cotton or silk, and is designed to be loose-fitting and comfortable in the hot desert climate. The thobe is often embellished with intricate embroidery and decorative buttons, reflecting the traditional craftsmanship and attention to detail of the region. Another iconic traditional garment in the Middle East is the abaya, a long, flowing cloak worn by women in the Gulf countries, particularly the UAE. The abaya is typically made of black or dark-colored fabric, and is designed to be loose-fitting and modest, covering the entire body except for the face, hands, and feet. The abaya is often embellished with intricate embroidery, lace, or beading, reflecting the cultural and religious significance of modesty and elegance in Middle Eastern fashion. In Palestine, traditional fashion is characterized by the iconic thobe, a long, flowing dress typically worn by women. Palestinian thobes are known for their intricate embroidery, featuring colorful designs and patterns that reflect the region's rich cultural heritage. Palestinian thobes are often made of lightweight cotton or silk, and are designed to be comfortable and elegant, reflecting the traditional values of hospitality and generosity in Palestinian culture. In addition to the thobe and abaya, traditional fashion in the Middle East also includes a range of other garments and accessories. Reflecting the diversity and complexity of the region's cultural traditions. For example, the kufiya, a checkered scarf worn by men in Palestine and other parts of the Middle East. is a symbol of Palestinian identity and resistance, and has become an iconic symbol of Middle Eastern fashion around the world. Moreover, traditional Middle Eastern fashion is also notable for its use of color, texture, and pattern, with many garments featuring intricate embroidery, beadwork, or other decorative elements. Traditional Middle Eastern textiles, such as silk, Cotton and wool are renowned for their quality and durability, reflecting the traditional craftsmanship and attention to detail of the region. Despite the rich cultural heritage of traditional Middle Eastern fashion, the industry has faced a number of challenges in recent years. Including the impact of globalization and changing societal norms. However, there are opportunities for the industry to adapt and evolve by incorporating new technologies and materials. Promoting sustainability and ethical fashion, and collaborating with international partners on cross-cultural fashion initiatives. In conclusion, traditional fashion in the Middle East is a testament to the region's rich cultural heritage. Reflecting the influence of history, religion, and tradition on fashion design and production. From the flowing thobes of Saudi Arabia to the ornate embroidery of Palestinian thobes. Traditional fashion in the Middle East is a source of pride and inspiration for millions of people around the world. By continuing to promote and celebrate traditional Middle Eastern fashion, the industry can help to create a more inclusive and diverse global fashion industry. 
reflecting the cultural richness and diversity of our world. Despite the challenges facing the traditional fashion industry in the Middle East, there are also a number of opportunities for growth and innovation. One key area of opportunity is the development of sustainable and ethical fashion practices, which have become increasingly important in the global fashion industry. In recent years, there has been growing interest in sustainable and ethical fashion in the Middle East, as consumers become more conscious of environmental and social issues. This has led to the emergence of a number of sustainable and ethical fashion brands and initiatives in the region. Such as the Loyal Workshop in India, which produces handmade leather goods using eco-friendly and ethical production methods. Moreover, there are opportunities for the Middle Eastern fashion industry to collaborate with international partners on sustainable and ethical fashion initiatives. For example, the Copenhagen Fashion Summit, a leading global sustainability conference, has launched a partnership with the Dubai Design District to promote sustainable fashion practices in the Middle East. In addition to promoting sustainability and ethical fashion, there are also opportunities for the Middle Eastern fashion industry to contribute to wider social and economic initiatives. For example, the industry can play a role in promoting women's empowerment and gender equality, particularly in the context of the region's growing workforce of women in the fashion industry. Moreover, the fashion industry can contribute to wider economic initiatives, such as the promotion of cultural tourism and the development of local industries. For example, the fashion industry can promote traditional Middle Eastern textiles and designs, creating new opportunities for local artisans and producers. However, achieving a more sustainable and ethical fashion industry in the Middle East will require overcoming a number of challenges. Including the need for greater awareness and education around issues of sustainability and ethical fashion, as well as the need for greater transparency and accountability in the supply chain. Moreover, there is a need for greater investment in education and training, to promote the development of sustainable and ethical fashion practices and the adoption of new technologies and materials. In conclusion, the development of a more sustainable and ethical fashion industry in the Middle East presents a number of opportunities for promoting innovation. Sustainability and Social and Economic Development By promoting sustainable and ethical fashion practices, and contributing to wider social and economic initiatives, The Middle Eastern fashion industry can help to create a more responsible and inclusive global fashion industry. Another area of opportunity for the traditional fashion industry in the Middle East is the promotion of cultural exchange and understanding. Particularly in the context of the region's rich cultural heritage. Middle Eastern fashion has a long and rich history, reflecting the influence of diverse cultural and religious traditions, including Islam, Christianity, Judaism, and Zoroastrianism. From the intricate embroidery of Palestinian thobes to the vibrant colors and patterns of Moroccan textiles. Traditional Middle Eastern fashion is a testament to the region's cultural richness and diversity. Moreover, traditional Middle Eastern fashion can also play a role in promoting cross-cultural exchange and understanding, particularly in the context of the global fashion industry. By promoting traditional Middle Eastern designs and textiles, and collaborating with international partners on cross-cultural fashion initiatives, 
The industry can help to create a more inclusive and diverse global fashion industry. For example, there are opportunities for Middle Eastern fashion brands and designers to collaborate with international partners on cross-cultural fashion initiatives. such as the recent collaboration between Moroccan designer Zineb Brittel and Italian fashion brand Gucci, which featured a collection inspired by both Moroccan and Italian cultural traditions. Moreover, the promotion of traditional Middle Eastern fashion can also contribute to wider cultural initiatives, such as the development of cultural tourism and the promotion of cultural heritage. For example, the fashion industry can promote traditional Middle Eastern fashion through fashion events and festivals. Showcasing the region's rich cultural heritage and promoting cross-cultural exchange and understanding. Fashion Tips for Thin Figure Fashion is a form of self-expression and finding the right style can be challenging, especially if you have a thin or slender body type. However, being thin does not mean that you cannot look stylish and fashionable. With some tips and tricks, you can dress in a way that flatters your body type and makes you feel confident and stylish. One of the first tips for dressing a thin body type is to create the illusion of curves. This can be achieved by wearing clothing that adds volume and shape to your frame, such as tops with ruffles or frills, A-line skirts, and dresses with a defined waistline. These styles can create the appearance of curves and add dimension to your body. Another tip is to use layers to add depth and dimension to your outfits. Layering can create a more interesting and dynamic look, and it can also add volume to your frame. You can layer a tank top under a blouse or sweater, or wear a blazer or jacket over a dress or top. Additionally, accessorizing can be a great way to add interest and detail to your outfits. Accessories such as scarves, belts, and statement jewelry can add pop of color and texture to your look, and can also draw attention to your best features. When it comes to choosing patterns and prints, it is important to choose ones that complement your body type. Opt for prints that add volume and dimension, such as floral prints, polka dots, or stripes. Avoid large or bold prints, which can overwhelm your frame and make you appear smaller. Furthermore, choosing the right fabrics can also make a difference in how your clothes fit and look. Lightweight, flowy fabrics such as silk, Chiffon and cotton can add movement and volume to your outfit, while heavier fabrics such as wool or denim can add structure and shape to your frame. In terms of pants, slim fit styles can be a great option for thin body types, as they can create a more streamlined and elongated look. High waisted styles can also be flattering, as they can create the appearance of longer legs and a defined waistline. Finally, it is important to choose the right undergarments. Properly fitted undergarments can smooth out any bumps or lumps and create a sleek and streamlined silhouette. Bras with padding or push-up designs can also add volume and shape to your chest. In conclusion, dressing a thin body type can be challenging, but with the right tips and tricks, it is possible to look stylish and fashionable. Creating the illusion of curves, using layers, accessorizing, choosing the right prints and fabrics, selecting the right pants, and choosing the right undergarments can all make a difference in how your clothes fit and look. With these tips in mind, you can embrace your thin body type and rock any outfit with confidence and style. Another tip for dressing a thin body type is to play with proportions. Wearing oversized or loose-fitting tops can create a contrast with your slim frame and add volume to your upper body. You can balance out the proportions by pairing loose tops with slim-fit pants or skirts. 
On the other hand, you can also play with proportions by wearing form-fitting clothing. This can highlight your slim figure and create a sleek and sophisticated look. However, be sure to avoid clothing that is too tight or clingy, as this can create an unflattering and uncomfortable look. In addition to playing with proportions, choosing the right colors can also make a difference in how your clothes look and fit. Darker colors such as black, navy, and dark gray can create a slimming effect and make you appear taller. However, don't be afraid to experiment with brighter colors and patterns, as long as they complement your body type and personal style. When it comes to footwear, wearing heels can add height and create a longer and leaner silhouette. However, if you prefer flats, opt for pointed toe styles, as they can create the illusion of longer legs. Avoid wearing shoes with ankle straps, as this can cut off the line of your legs and make you appear shorter. Finally, it is important to embrace your body type and wear clothing that makes you feel confident and comfortable. Don't feel pressured to follow trends or wear clothing that does not suit your personal style or body type. Instead, focus on finding clothing that flatters your body type and makes you feel confident and stylish. In conclusion, dressing a thin body type can be a challenge, but with the right tips and tricks, you can create a stylish and flattering look. Playing with proportions, choosing the right colors, wearing heels or pointed toe flats, and embracing your body type can all make a difference in how your clothes fit and look. With these tips in mind, you can confidently rock any outfit and feel great in your own skin. Another tip for dressing a thin body type is to pay attention to the fit of your clothing. Avoid clothing that is too loose or too tight, as this can create an unflattering and shapeless look. Instead, choose clothing that fits well and accentuates your best features. Tailoring your clothing can also make a big difference in how your clothes fit and look on your body. Furthermore, wearing statement pieces can be a great way to add interest and personality to your outfits. A statement piece such as a bold jacket, a colorful scarf, or a unique pair of shoes can elevate even the simplest outfit and make you stand out. When it comes to choosing a dress, opt for styles that create shape and volume. A-line dresses, wrap dresses, and dresses with ruching or draping can all create a flattering and feminine silhouette. Additionally, choosing dresses with interesting details such as lace, embroidery, or beading can add texture and dimension to your outfit. In terms of outerwear, choosing a coat or jacket that hits at or below the knee can create a longer and leaner silhouette. Avoid cropped or boxy jackets, as they can make you appear shorter and wider. Finally, don't be afraid to experiment with different styles and trends. Just because you have a thin body type doesn't mean you have to stick to certain styles or silhouettes. Try out different styles and see what works for you and your body type. You may be surprised at what looks great on you. In conclusion, dressing a thin body type can be tricky, but with the right tips and tricks, it is possible to create a stylish and flattering look. Calvin Klein, the story of the founding and development of the Calvin Klein fashion brand and the designer's influence on the fashion industry. Calvin Klein is one of the most iconic fashion brands of the 20th century, known for its minimalist aesthetic and innovative designs. Founded in 1968 by American designer Calvin Klein and his business partner Barry Schwartz, the brand quickly became a cultural phenomenon. Defining a new era of American fashion and influencing the global fashion industry for decades to come. The story of Calvin Klein's rise to fame is a testament to the power of creativity, innovation, and perseverance. Born in the Bronx, New York, in 1942, 
Klein showed a keen interest in fashion and design from an early age, studying at the Fashion Institute of Technology before launching his own label in 1968. At the time, the fashion industry was dominated by European designers, who were known for their opulent and elaborate designs. Klein, however, had a different vision, inspired by the simplicity and elegance of modernist art and architecture. His first collection, which featured pared-down designs made from natural materials such as cotton, denim, and wool, was an instant success, winning critical acclaim and attracting a loyal following among fashion-forward consumers. Over the next few years, Klein continued to innovate and push boundaries, introducing a range of new designs and materials. Such as stretch fabrics and leather, which were previously unheard of in the fashion industry. In the 1980s, Klein's brand reached new heights of popularity, thanks in part to a series of provocative advertising campaigns that challenged traditional notions of gender and sexuality. The campaigns, which featured images of scantily clad models and celebrities, such as Brooke Shields, Mark Wahlberg, and Kate Moss, created a sensation, generating controversy and sparking a national conversation about the role of fashion in shaping cultural norms and values. Despite the controversies, however, Klein's brand continued to thrive, expanding into new markets and categories, such as fragrances, accessories, and home furnishings. By the late 1990s, the brand had become a global fashion powerhouse, with a presence in more than 100 countries and a reputation for quality, innovation, and style. Today, Calvin Klein remains one of the most influential and iconic fashion brands in the world continuing to push boundaries and set trends in the ever-changing fashion industry. Over the years, the brand has inspired countless designers and fashion enthusiasts, shaping the way we think about fashion and style. Moreover, Klein's influence extends beyond the world of fashion, influencing popular culture and art for decades. From the minimalist aesthetic of his designs to the provocative imagery of his advertising campaigns, Klein's impact on the cultural landscape of the 20th century cannot be overstated. In conclusion, the story of Calvin Klein is a testament to the power of creativity, innovation, and perseverance in the fashion industry. Through his minimalist designs and provocative advertising campaigns, Klein challenged traditional notions of beauty and gender, reshaping the way we think about fashion and style. Today, his legacy lives on, inspiring a new generation of designers and fashion enthusiasts, and shaping the cultural landscape of the 21st century. Calvin Klein's impact on the fashion industry can be seen in the way that he transformed American fashion and made it a global phenomenon. His designs were minimalist, sleek, and sophisticated, and they had a profound impact on the way that people dressed. Klein was known for his use of high-quality materials and his attention to detail, which made his design stand out from the rest. He was also a master of branding and marketing, which helped to build the Calvin Klein brand into a household name. One of the key factors in Klein's success was his ability to adapt to changing trends and consumer preferences. He was always on the cutting edge of fashion, exploring new materials, silhouettes, and design techniques. This made his brand relevant and exciting, even as fashion trends came and went. Klein's influence on the fashion industry can also be seen in the way that he helped to blur the lines between high and low fashion. He was one of the first designers to create collections for mass market retailers, such as Macy's and JC. 
Penny, which helped to democratize fashion and make it more accessible to a wider audience. Moreover, Klein's impact on fashion can be seen in the way that he inspired a new generation of designers and fashion enthusiasts. His minimalist aesthetic and attention to detail have influenced countless designers, who continue to draw inspiration from his work today. Beyond fashion, Klein's impact can also be seen in the way that he used his platform to raise awareness about social issues, such as HIV AIDS and LGBTQ rights. He was a pioneer in using fashion to promote social and political causes, and his work helped to raise awareness and inspire change. In conclusion, Calvin Klein's impact on the fashion industry is profound and enduring. His minimalist designs, attention to detail, and innovative branding and marketing techniques have influenced generations of designers and fashion enthusiasts. Through his work, he transformed American fashion and helped to make it a global phenomenon. Moreover, his commitment to social and political causes has inspired others to use fashion as a platform for change. Calvin Klein's impact on the fashion industry is also reflected in his contribution to the evolution of fashion photography. His advertising campaigns are considered groundbreaking for their innovative use of provocative imagery and their ability to generate controversy and buzz. Klein collaborated with some of the industry's most renowned photographers, such as Richard Avedon, Bruce Weber, and Stephen Mizell, to create images that challenged traditional notions of beauty and sexuality. His campaigns were often controversial, featuring models in suggestive poses or wearing very little clothing. However, they were also highly effective in promoting the Calvin Klein brand and creating a powerful emotional connection with consumers. Klein's advertising campaigns helped to define the aesthetic of the 1980s and 1990s, with their stark black-and-white imagery, bold typography, and provocative slogans. They were also influential in shaping the visual language of fashion photography, inspiring a new generation of photographers and art directors. Moreover, Klein's impact on the fashion industry can also be seen in his commitment to sustainability and ethical fashion practices. In recent years, the Calvin Klein brand has taken steps to reduce its environmental impact and promote ethical labor practices throughout its supply chain. For example, the brand has launched a sustainable cotton initiative, which aims to promote the use of organic and sustainably grown cotton in its products. It has also partnered with the Better Cotton Initiative, a global organization that promotes sustainable cotton farming practices. Furthermore, the brand has committed to using recycled materials in its products and reducing its carbon footprint by implementing energy-efficient practices in its operations. In conclusion, Calvin Klein's impact on the fashion industry is multifaceted and far-reaching. His bold, minimalist designs, innovative marketing techniques, and provocative advertising campaigns have influenced generations of designers, photographers, and marketers. Moreover, his commitment to sustainability and ethical fashion practices has helped to raise awareness about the environmental and social impact of the fashion industry and inspire change. Through his work, Klein has left an indelible mark on the fashion industry and the cultural landscape of the 20th and 21st centuries. Calvin Klein's impact on the fashion industry can also be seen in his collaborations with other artists and creatives. What types of clothes should and should not be chosen for each body shape? Choosing the right clothing for one's body type can be a daunting task, 
but it is essential for looking and feeling confident. Different body types have different proportions and shapes, and selecting the right clothing can enhance one's best features and create a flattering silhouette. In this article, we will discuss the types of clothing to wear and avoid for different body types. For those with an apple-shaped body, which is characterized by a larger midsection and narrower hips and thighs, it is essential to choose clothing that draws attention away from the midsection. A-line dresses and skirts are perfect for this body type, as they create a balanced silhouette and draw attention to the legs. Avoid tight-fitting clothing and high-waisted pants, as they can accentuate the midsection and make it appear larger. For those with a pear-shaped body, which is characterized by wider hips and thighs and a narrower waist and shoulders, it is essential to balance the proportions of the lower and upper body. A-line skirts and dresses are also excellent for this body type, as they create a balanced silhouette. Tops with a V-neckline can help elongate the torso and draw attention to the upper body. Avoid skinny jeans and tight-fitting skirts, as they can accentuate the hips and thighs and make them appear larger. For those with an hourglass-shaped body, which is characterized by a balanced proportion of the hips and shoulders with a narrow waist, it is essential to choose clothing that accentuates the curves. Fitted dresses and tops can enhance the waist and create a flattering silhouette. High-waisted pants and skirts can also help to elongate the legs and create a balanced silhouette. Avoid baggy clothing, as it can hide the curves and create an unflattering shape. For those with a rectangular-shaped body, which is characterized by a straight-up and down shape with little waist definition, it is essential to choose clothing that creates the illusion of curves. Peplum tops and dresses can help to create the appearance of a smaller waist and enhance the curves. High-waisted pants and skirts can also help to create the illusion of curves and add dimension to the silhouette. Avoid boxy and shapeless clothing, as it can make the body appear flat and unflattering. For those with an inverted triangle-shaped body, which is characterized by broader shoulders and a narrower waist and hips, it is essential to choose clothing that balances the upper and lower body. A-line skirts and dresses can help to balance the proportions and create a flattering silhouette. Tops with a V-neckline can help to elongate the torso and draw attention to the lower body. Avoid tops with puffy sleeves and bulky jackets, as they can accentuate the shoulders and make them appear broader. In conclusion, choosing the right clothing for one's body type can make a significant difference in how one looks and feels. By understanding one's body type and selecting the right clothing, one can create a flattering silhouette and enhance their best features. Remember to choose clothing that accentuates one's curves or balances one's proportions, and avoid clothing that accentuates one's flaws. With the right clothing, anyone can look and feel confident and beautiful. In addition to choosing the right clothing for one's body type, it is also important to consider the occasion and the dress code. Different occasions call for different types of clothing and it is essential to dress appropriately to avoid feeling out of place or uncomfortable. For formal events, such as weddings or galas, it is appropriate to wear formal attire such as a tuxedo or a gown. Men should wear a suit and tie, while women can opt for a long dress or a cocktail dress. It is important to avoid casual clothing, such as jeans or sneakers, as they are not appropriate for formal events. For business events, such as meetings or conferences, 
It is appropriate to wear business attire such as a suit or a blazer with dress pants. Women can also wear a skirt or a dress, but it should be modest and not too revealing. It is important to avoid casual clothing or anything that is too brightly colored or patterned, as it can be distracting in a business setting. For casual events, such as a weekend brunch or a picnic, it is appropriate to wear casual clothing such as jeans or shorts with a t-shirt or a blouse. Women can also wear sundresses or skirts. It is important to avoid overly revealing clothing or anything that is too formal, as it can be out of place in a casual setting. For athletic events, such as a workout or a sports game, it is appropriate to wear athletic clothing such as leggings, shorts, or a sports jersey. It is important to choose clothing that is comfortable and allows for movement. Avoid anything that is too tight or restrictive, as it can impede movement and cause discomfort. In conclusion, dressing appropriately for different occasions is just as important as choosing the right clothing for one's body type. By understanding the dress code and the occasion, one can avoid feeling out of place or uncomfortable and project a confident and put-together image. Remember to choose clothing that is appropriate for the occasion and comfortable to wear, and avoid anything that is too revealing, formal, or casual. With the right clothing and the right attitude, anyone can dress for success in any situation. Another important factor to consider when choosing clothing is the season and the weather. Different seasons call for different types of clothing, and it is essential to dress appropriately to stay comfortable and protected from the elements. In the summer, it is important to choose clothing that is lightweight and breathable to stay cool in the heat. Cotton and linen are great fabric choices as they allow air to circulate and absorb moisture. Light-colored clothing can also help to reflect the sun's rays and keep the body cool. It is important to avoid heavy fabrics like wool and dark colors, as they can trap heat and make the body feel hotter. In the winter, it is important to choose clothing that is warm and insulating to protect the body from the cold. Wool and fleece are great fabric choices as they are warm and breathable. Layering is also important, as it allows for flexibility and temperature control. It is important to avoid thin fabrics like cotton and silk and wear appropriate outerwear like a coat or a jacket to protect against wind and snow. In the spring and fall, it is important to choose clothing that is versatile and appropriate for changing temperatures. Layering is key during these transitional seasons, as the temperature can fluctuate throughout the day. Light jackets or sweaters can be worn over t-shirts or blouses, and pants or skirts can be paired with boots or sneakers. It is important to avoid clothing that is too heavy or too light, as it may not be appropriate for the changing weather. It is also important to consider the weather when choosing clothing. Applications of silk in other industries such as medical, home decoration and underwear. Silk is a luxurious and versatile fabric that has been used for thousands of years in a variety of industries, including fashion, home decor, and medicine. The unique properties of silk, such as its strength, softness, and hypoallergenic nature, make it a popular choice for a wide range of applications. One of the most well-known uses of silk is in the fashion industry. Silk is a popular fabric for high-end clothing, such as dresses, blouses, and suits. Its soft and smooth texture feels luxurious against the skin, and its ability to drape and flow creates a flattering and elegant look. 
Additionally, silk can be dyed in a wide range of colors and patterns, making it a versatile choice for designers and fashion enthusiasts alike. However, silk is also used in other industries, including home decor. Silk is a popular choice for curtains, bedding, and upholstery due to its softness and durability. It can add a touch of elegance and sophistication to any room, and its natural sheen can reflect light and create a beautiful glow. Silk pillows and throws can also add a luxurious and cozy touch to any living space. Moreover, silk is used in the lingerie industry to create elegant and comfortable undergarments. Silk bras and panties are popular due to their soft and smooth texture, and their ability to regulate temperature and absorb moisture. Silk is also hypoallergenic, making it a great option for those with sensitive skin. In the medical industry, silk is used for a variety of applications. Silk sutures are commonly used in surgeries due to their strength and biocompatibility. Additionally, silk dressings and bandages can promote wound healing and reduce the risk of infection. Silk is also used in medical textiles, such as surgical gowns and masks, due to its ability to repel moisture and resist bacteria. Furthermore, silk is used in the production of high-quality musical instruments, such as strings for violins and cellos. Silk strings are known for their warm and rich tone, and their ability to produce a wide range of sounds. They are also durable and long-lasting, making them a popular choice for professional musicians. In conclusion, silk is a versatile and luxurious fabric that has numerous applications in various industries. Its softness, strength, and hypoallergenic nature make it a popular choice for fashion, home decor, lingerie, medical, and musical instrument production. With its unique properties and elegant appearance, Silk will continue to be a popular choice for a wide range of applications in the future. Another application of silk is in the production of high-quality carpets and rugs. Silk carpets and rugs are known for their softness, durability, and intricate designs. They can add a touch of luxury to any room and can be used as a statement piece or as a complement to existing decor. Additionally, Silk is used in the production of high-end handbags and accessories. Silk scarves, ties, and pocket squares are popular accessories due to their softness, sheen, and ability to add a pop of color and pattern to any outfit. Silk handbags and clutches are also popular due to their durability and elegant appearance. Moreover, silk is used in the production of high-quality paper products. Silk paper is known for its smooth texture, durability, and ability to hold ink and color well. It is commonly used in the printing of high-end books, invitations, and stationery. In the food industry, silk is used to create a natural protein-based food additive known as silk fibroin. This additive is used to enhance the texture, flavor, and nutrition of various food products, including beverages, baked goods, and meat products. Silk fibroin has been found to have numerous health benefits, including anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Finally, silk is used in the production of high-quality cosmetic and skincare products. Silk proteins and amino acids are commonly used in skincare products due to their ability to hydrate and nourish the skin. Silk fibers are also used in cosmetic products, such as mascara and eyeliner, to create a smooth and even application. In conclusion, silk is a versatile and luxurious fabric that has numerous applications in various industries. Its softness, durability, and hypoallergenic nature make it a popular choice for fashion, home decor. Lingerie, medical, musical instrument production, carpets and rugs, handbags and accessories, paper products, food industry, 
and cosmetic and skincare products. With its unique properties and elegant appearance, silk will continue to be a popular choice for a wide range of applications in the future. Another interesting application of silk is in the field of electronics. Silk has been found to have unique electrical properties, such as high dielectric strength and low dissipation factor, which make it a promising material for electronic components. Researchers have been exploring the use of silk in the production of flexible and biocompatible electronic devices, such as sensors and transistors, which can be used in various applications, including healthcare and environmental monitoring. Additionally, silk is used in the production of high-quality hair extensions and wigs. Silk-based hair extensions are known for their softness, shine, and durability, and can be styled and treated like natural hair. Silk wigs are also popular due to their lightweight and breathable nature, and their ability to create a natural and realistic look. In the automotive industry, silk is used to create high-performance air filters. Silk fibers are woven together to create a mesh that can capture small particles and pollutants, such as dust and pollen, from the air. This technology has been used in high-end sports cars and racing vehicles, where clean air is essential for optimal performance. Furthermore, silk is used in the production of high-quality musical instruments, such as harps and guitars. Silk strings are known for their warm and rich tone, and their ability to produce a wide range of sounds. They are also less prone to breakage than other types of strings, making them a popular choice for professional musicians. In the field of architecture and construction, silk is used in the production of high-quality insulation materials. Silk fibers are mixed with other natural materials, such as wool or hemp, to create an insulating material that is both effective and environmentally friendly. This material can be used in various applications, including walls, ceilings, and roofs. Finally, silk is used in the production of high-quality bedding and sleepwear. The Influence of French Art and Culture on the Fashion Industry France is known for its contributions to the world of art and culture, and its influence can be seen in various industries, including fashion. French fashion has a long and rich history, dating back to the 17th century when French fashion designers began to gain global recognition. The French fashion industry has since become synonymous with elegance, sophistication and innovation, and has had a lasting impact on the world of fashion. One of the key ways in which French art and culture has influenced the fashion industry is through the concept of haute couture. Haute couture is a term used to describe high-end, custom-made clothing that is designed and produced by the most prestigious fashion houses in France. The concept of haute couture originated in France in the late 19th century and has since become a symbol of luxury and exclusivity in the fashion industry. Many of the world's most famous fashion houses, including Chanel, Dior and the Saint Laurent, are based in France and are known for their haute couture collections. Another way in which French art and culture has influenced the fashion industry is through its emphasis on quality craftsmanship and attention to detail. French fashion designers are known for their meticulous attention to detail and their use of high-quality materials, such as silk, cashmere, and leather. This emphasis on quality has helped to establish France as a leader in the luxury fashion market. and has influenced other designers and fashion houses around the world to prioritize quality craftsmanship in their own work. Additionally, French art and culture has had a significant influence on the aesthetics of the fashion industry. French fashion is known for its elegant and sophisticated designs, which often incorporate classic and timeless elements, 
such as tailored suits, trench coats, and little black dresses. The French fashion industry has also been known to push boundaries and experiment with new styles and trends, which has helped to shape the overall aesthetic of the fashion industry. Moreover, French art and culture has had an impact on the way in which fashion is presented to the world. Paris Fashion Week, which takes place twice a year in Paris, is one of the most prestigious and influential events in the fashion industry. It attracts designers, buyers, and fashion enthusiasts from around the world and provides a platform for new and established designers to showcase their work. The event also helps to shape trends and set the tone for the upcoming season, further solidifying France's role as a leader in the fashion industry. Finally, French art and culture has influenced the way in which fashion is perceived and valued by society. French fashion is often associated with elegance, sophistication, and luxury, and has come to represent a certain status and lifestyle. This has helped to create a demand for high-end fashion and has contributed to the growth of the luxury fashion market. In conclusion, French art and culture has had a significant impact on the fashion industry. Its emphasis on haute couture, quality craftsmanship, attention to detail, and timeless aesthetics has helped to establish France as a leader in the luxury fashion market. Additionally, its influence on fashion presentation and perception has helped to shape the overall direction of the fashion industry. With its rich history and continuing contributions to the world of fashion, France will continue to play a significant role in shaping the future of the fashion industry. French art and culture has also influenced the way in which fashion is marketed and advertised. French fashion advertising often emphasizes the luxury and sophistication associated with French fashion, with campaigns featuring famous models, iconic landmarks, and high-end products. This has helped to create a strong brand identity for French fashion, further contributing to its success in the global fashion industry. Furthermore, French art and culture has influenced the way in which fashion is taught and studied. Many of the world's top fashion schools are based in France, including the prestigious École de la Chambre Syndicale de la Couture Parisienne and the Institut Français de la Mode. These schools offer comprehensive programs in fashion design, marketing, and management, and attract students from around the world who are interested in learning from the best in the industry. In addition to its influence on the fashion industry as a whole, French art and culture has also had a significant impact on specific fashion trends and styles. For example, the French fashion industry is credited with popularizing the little black dress, which has become a staple in women's fashion around the world. French fashion designers have also been known to incorporate elements of French art and culture into their designs. Such as the use of the fleur de lis motif or the incorporation of traditional French embroidery techniques. Moreover, French art and culture has influenced the way in which fashion is perceived as an art form. The French fashion industry has a long history of collaborating with artists and designers from other fields, such as painters, sculptors, and architects. This has helped to elevate fashion to the level of fine art and has contributed to the growing recognition of fashion as a legitimate art form. Finally, French art and culture has had an impact on the way in which fashion is produced and distributed. France has a strong tradition of craftsmanship and artisanal production, which has helped to establish the country as a leader in the production of high-quality fashion products. Additionally, France has a well-developed network of fashion retailers and boutiques, 
which helped to promote French fashion both domestically and internationally. In conclusion, French art and culture has had a profound and lasting impact on the fashion industry. Its influence can be seen in the way that fashion is designed, marketed, taught, and perceived. French fashion has become synonymous with luxury, sophistication, and timeless elegance, and has helped to establish France as a leader in the global fashion industry. With its rich history and continuing contributions to the world of fashion, France will continue to shape the future of the fashion industry for years to come. French art and culture has also had a significant impact on the way in which fashion is produced sustainably. With a growing awareness of the environmental and social impact of the fashion industry. French fashion houses have been at the forefront of implementing sustainable and ethical practices in their production processes. Many French fashion houses have implemented sustainable production methods, such as using organic or recycled materials, reducing waste, and minimizing their carbon footprint. Furthermore, French art and culture has influenced the way in which fashion is perceived in terms of gender and sexuality. French fashion has a long history of challenging traditional gender roles and promoting gender equality. This can be seen in the androgynous styles of French fashion designers such as Yves Saint Laurent and Coco Chanel, who blurred the lines between masculine and feminine fashion. French fashion has also been at the forefront of promoting inclusivity and diversity. With many French fashion houses featuring models of all ages, sizes, and ethnicities in their campaigns and runway shows. In addition to its impact on the fashion industry itself, French art and culture has also influenced the way in which fashion is portrayed in popular culture. French films, music, and literature often feature iconic fashion moments and styles, which have helped to shape the way in which fashion is perceived by the general public. For example, the film Breathless by French director Jean-Luc Godard is known for its iconic fashion moments. Including actress Jean Seberg's striped boat neck shirt, which has become a classic French fashion staple. Moreover, French art and culture has influenced the way in which fashion is celebrated and appreciated as a cultural phenomenon. How to choose the right clothes for short legs For those with short legs or a petite frame, choosing the right clothing can be a challenge. However, with a few simple tips and tricks, anyone can choose clothing that flatters their figure and enhances their best features. One of the most important things to consider when choosing clothing for a shorter frame is proportion. Clothing that is too long or too baggy can overwhelm the body and make it appear smaller. On the other hand, Clothing that is too short or too tight can make the body look disproportionate and unflattering. To create the illusion of longer legs, it is important to choose clothing that elongates the body. High-waisted pants and skirts are a great option, as they create the appearance of longer legs and a smaller waist. Wide leg pants can also help to elongate the legs and create a balanced silhouette. A-line dresses and skirts can also be flattering, as they create a balanced silhouette and draw attention to the legs. When it comes to shoes, it is important to choose footwear that complements the outfit and enhances the legs. High heels are an obvious choice, as they add height and elongate the legs. 
However, it is important to choose a heel height that is comfortable and appropriate for the occasion. Platform shoes can also be a great option, as they add height without the discomfort of a high heel. Another important factor to consider is color and pattern. Dark colors and vertical stripes can help to create the illusion of a longer and leaner silhouette. Avoid horizontal stripes and bold patterns, as they can make the body appear wider and shorter. In addition to clothing, accessories can also play a role in creating the illusion of longer legs. Long necklaces and scarves can draw attention to the upper body and create the appearance of a longer torso. Belts can also help to create a defined waist and balance the proportions of the body. When shopping for clothing, it is important to try on different styles and sizes to determine what works best for one's body type. Tailoring can also be a great option for achieving a perfect fit and enhancing one's best features. A well-tailored outfit can make a huge difference in how one looks and feels, regardless of their body type. In conclusion, Choosing clothing for a shorter frame is all about creating the illusion of longer legs and a balanced silhouette. By choosing clothing that elongates the body, enhances the legs and complements one's personal style, anyone can dress for success and feel confident in their appearance. Remember to choose clothing that is proportionate, elongates the body, and complements one's personal style. With the right clothing and accessories, anyone can enhance their best features and feel confident and beautiful. Another important aspect to consider when dressing for a shorter frame is the fit of the clothing. Clothing that is too loose or too tight can make one look shorter and wider than they actually are. It is important to choose clothing that fits well and accentuates the body's natural curves. When it comes to tops, it is important to choose ones that are fitted and tailored. Oversized or boxy tops can make one appear wider and shorter. Tops that are slightly cropped or that hit at the waistline can also help to elongate the body and create the appearance of longer legs. V-neck or scoop neck tops can also be flattering as they draw the eye upward and create the illusion of a longer torso. When choosing pants, it is important to avoid styles that are too baggy or too tight. Skinny jeans, for example, can make the legs look shorter and wider. Instead, opt for straight leg or bootkit pants that elongate the legs and create a balanced silhouette. It is also important to choose pants that fit well at the waist, as a high waistline can help to elongate the legs and create a defined waistline. Skirts can also be a great option for those with shorter legs, as they can help to create the illusion of longer legs and a balanced silhouette. A-line skirts that hit at or above the knee can be particularly flattering, as they draw attention to the legs and create a balanced silhouette. Pencil skirts can also be a great option, as they elongate the legs and create a defined waistline. In addition to clothing, it is important to choose accessories that complement the outfit and enhance the body's natural proportions. Belts can be particularly helpful in creating a defined waistline and balancing the proportions of the body. Scarves and necklaces can also be great accessories for drawing attention upward and creating the illusion of a longer torso. 
In conclusion, dressing for a shorter frame is all about creating the illusion of longer legs and a balanced silhouette. By choosing clothing that fits well, elongates the body, and complements one's personal style, anyone can dress for success and feel confident in their appearance. Remember to choose clothing that accentuates the body's natural curves, avoid oversized or boxy styles, and choose accessories that enhance the body's proportions. With the right clothing and accessories, Anyone can enhance their best features and feel confident and beautiful, regardless of their body type. When it comes to dresses, it is important to choose ones that flatter the body and create the illusion of longer legs. Empire waist dresses, which have a high waistline that hits just below the bust, can be particularly flattering for those with shorter legs. A-line dresses can also be a great option, as they create a balanced silhouette and draw attention to the legs. It is important to avoid dresses that are too long, as they can overwhelm the body and make one look shorter than they actually are. When it comes to outerwear, it is important to choose pieces that complement the outfit and enhance the body's proportions. Crop jackets or blazers can be a great option, as they create the illusion of a longer torso and draw attention to the waistline. Long coats or cardigans can also be flattering, as they create a long vertical line that elongates the body. For those who love wearing shorts, it is important to choose ones that flatter the body and create the illusion of longer legs. High-waisted shorts can be particularly flattering, as they create the illusion of a longer torso and elongate the legs. Shorts that are slightly longer and hit it or above the knee can also be a great option, as they create a balanced silhouette and draw attention to the legs. When it comes to footwear, it is important to choose shoes that complement the outfit and enhance the body's proportions. High heels can be a great option, as they add height and elongate the legs.